In this video, I will explain the four steps in making one of the easiest campsite meals you can think of. It's one of those autopilot meals that you can literally have ready as soon as you get back from a long day of riding. So stay tuned. Number one, what cookware and ingredients do you need? The cookware is short and sweet. It all starts with your trusty crock pot. You'll need crock pot liners for easy cleanup, and you'll also need a scoop of some kind, a measuring cup or a ladle will do. Lastly, you'll need something to brown the ground meat in like a skillet. Now moving on to the ingredients. You'll need two pounds of ground beef. Next, you'll need two packets of taco seasoning. Now our rule of thumb is using one packet of taco seasoning per pound of meat. Then you'll need one packet of ranch packet seasoning. You'll need one can of Rotel. You'll need one can of corn. Two bags of your preferred corn chips. Two cans of ranch style beans. And two cans of diced potatoes. Now they don't have diced. You can go sliced. I'm just saying you might want to cut them up a little more to make it good. Number two, cooking the ground meat. Now here's where you have some options. The first step is browning the ground meat, then adding in the packets of taco seasoning. To help lower the time in prepping this meal, my beautiful wife does this step the day before we leave for the trip. So when we go to prepare this meal for dinner, all we have to do is just add in the already cooked ground meat and then move on to the other ingredients. A rule of thumb is, is if the cooked meat will be used within two or three days of cooking it, then we'll just put it in the refrigerator. Anything past four days or longer, we put it in the freezer and keep it frozen until we use it. So the way this looks is when she's done with cooking the meat, she'll let it cool completely off before placing it into large Ziploc bags. And then she'll either place it in the fridge or freezer, whatever's appropriate. Number three, time to throw it all in the pot. We start with adding in the cooked ground meat first. The next will be the corn. Then we'll move on to the ranch style beans. Then you'll add in the rotel, then the diced potatoes, and then you'll add in to top it all off with the ranch packet. Something to note is we add in all the liquids from each can because it adds to the deliciousness of this meal. Now this includes the liquid from the sliced potatoes if you weren't able to find dice. Once you get all the ingredients in, you'll want to add some water in to top it off. We usually use two bottles of water, but use your best judgment when filling it up. You don't want it overflowing when you go to put the lid in. So once all the ingredients are in the crock pot, then you'll place the lid back on and you'll turn it the dial down to low and go enjoy your ride. If cooking on low, it needs to cook for eight hours. This is a perfect meal for long days of trail riding if you'll be eating lunch on the trail but still need dinner ready for when you get back to camp. If you want it ready for lunch, then you'll turn the dial to high and it'll be ready in four hours. Number four, ready to serve and clean up. Once you get back from a long day of riding, this taco soup is ready to go. Pour yourself a bed of chips in your bowl, add in two scoops of taco soup with a little extra scoop of just that soup juice at the top it off, get it all right, you know what I'm saying? Then you sit back and enjoy a good meal. Now for cleanup, I strongly suggest getting the crock pot liners we discussed in step one because with them, this is what cleanup looks like. In conclusion, if you have a big family or just want dinner ready for when you get back from your trip, then this taco soup recipe is the number one choice to make. So check out the description of this video for links to the recipe and cookware we mentioned. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you in figuring out dinner ideas for the next campsite, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.